Hey hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the underground world of rare name trading. So for those who don't know, uh, there is a pretty active marketplace for trading what is considered a rare name. Now first up we're going to go over what is considered rare and why. And then we're going to have a look at some of the historical prices. Now to start off, this is a legal practice. Uh, name exchanging is not against the game rules. However, it is prone to getting scammed because there is such thing as name sniping where you're kind of waiting around for the transfer to take place and other ways where you can get scammed because it is kind of done on a, a non-official forum. Anyway guys, hope you enjoy and let's get started. So to start off here, what is making a name rare? Uh, where there's a few different categories um, based on the length of the name, um, if there are any desirable words in it. Usually one-worded names are the only ones that are going to be very valuable. But really it just comes down to what people perceive is valuable. So some examples of some rare names are going to be something like Lion, uh, H, just a one character name, Skill Names, Mining. So I'm going to start off with what is probably the rarest names and then go down from there. So to start off here, probably the rarest names in RuneScape are going to be one character names. There's only 36 possible uh, one character name, so something like one, which I think I saw on Reddit a little while ago, just the letter one, um, the letter H, eight, any of those things are going to be extremely valuable because there's such a limited amount of them possibly in the game. The second most rarest names are going to be names that are related to RuneScape, so like skill names, so someone who's named Mining, or someone who's named Slayer, or H hit points or HP, and they are also as rare because there's only um, 20 something skills in the game, so only 20 of those names exist. The next up are two that are kind of um, similar in my opinion. There are very short words of varying lengths, so something like fire or water or fighter or something like that, where it's a very simple word that has a defined meaning everybody knows. And probably on a similar level is that of a two character name. So any combination of two characters, while there's quite a few more combos and the value of this name is going to be quite a bit less than the one character name, it still is worth quite a bit. Now if it has a meaning, so maybe it's part of like the periodic table or just like bow or something like somehow is a name, it's probably worth even more. These used to be worth a lot more, however, the rarity of them kind of dropped when a bunch of them are released with the name release a few years back. Now similar to that is just going to be digits, so double digits, that's only a hundred of them in the game, potentially. So all the way from, well, 10 to 99, those are all going to be rare and probably triple digits as well. Now once you start getting into three character names, they don't necessarily have much value unless they make a word. Now if it's like moo or cow or something like that, then that's going to be worth a lot. But any random assortment of three letter names might be worth like a few mil, but it's not going to be anything worth your time. So other desirable categories are going to be like animal words, days, months, holidays, stuff like that. Uh, real life names, people would probably pay quite a bit to get the real life name. And again, it does come down to what um, people are going to pay. One seller may get three times as much as another just because he found a buyer who happened to have the name Timothy or something like that. So you kind of get the idea. So stuff that's not rare but might seem rare is going to be names that have characters subbed out. So say you have the word Lime and you replace the L with a capital I or something like that. That is not rare, even though it appears to be so. Um, most dictionary words that aren't very commonplace aren't going to be uh, very rare. So if it's kind of a scientific word or a longer word, generally not going to be worth that much. Uh, made up words like Ponezilla or other kind of meta words or urban dictionary words aren't going to be worth that much. And there's no way to tank your name's value than to put a number instead of a letter in there as well. So that's a brief overview of what names are going to be rare. Um, so now let's move on to what these names are valued at. And we'll go look at some examples. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at what the value are on these rare names. So the only way to really look at this is just going through historical buys and sells. So here on the scythe.org website, and we're going to have a look through some of them with you. So essentially how this works is people will post the names they have and people who actually know the value will give them a price check. Okay, so first one up here uh, that's been answered is a price check on U3. So it's a two character name, however, it doesn't really have much value to it. So they're saying it's worth about 40 to 50 mil. So next up here is a one character name that someone mentioned had sold for $2,000 about one and a half years ago. So that's probably only gone up from there, assuming that that name hadn't been released with part of the like name release batch. And down here, someone's corroborating at about three bill. And down here, it says about 1.5 to three bill 07 for a one character name. 
So down here there are a few just basic words, stuff like noun, verb, adjective. He's mentioning that the shorter ones, noun or verb, might be worth 40 to 50 mil 07. Adjective worth less just because it's a longer word. Generally the shorter words are going to be worth more. So here's a few more price checks. The number 07, which has probably an elevated meaning just because it's 07 scape, uh, has a value of 500 mil OSRS uh, between 75 and 150 mil, which I'd say that's probably worth more. 2007 is worth 75 mil and old school 50 to 100 mil RS 500 mil plus. So this guy somehow managed to get all of these RuneScape related names. That's pretty good for him. So this is all kind of uh, opinionated based on who's answering. This guy disagrees and says it might be worth more. So there isn't like a tried and true method to know exactly what it's worth, but you need a general idea. So here's a different one. Uh, the word Snowden, which is a uh, political figure essentially, uh, 10 to 20 mil, so not super valuable. So anyway, you get the idea. Probably the most valuable name could go for 3 to 4 bill, um, probably more to the right buyer, but generally you're going to be getting between 100 mil to 500 mil for short, meaningful words, um, two-letter words or numbers that have meaning, stuff like that. So earlier I mentioned that getting scammed when you're trading your name is pretty rampant and common, so you have to take specific steps to ensure that you don't get your name scam. So to start off here, there is obviously the potential that someone will just not give you your money and take the name and run away. That is a pretty common scam through a RuneScape overall, but one more specific to uh, the name marketplace is name sniping. So name sniping is a bannable offense on Scythe, which is the main name marketplace, as well as actually old school RuneScape. Name hoarding, sniping, and using bots to buy uh, names up is actually bannable. So essentially it's going to be somebody watching over a name and waiting for it to be transferred in hopes of intercepting it. So if somebody is closely watching a transfer going on or somehow they have access to their instant messenger or Skype and they know exactly when the transfer is taking place, they can actually intercept the name because when the name is released, it's released to the public and anybody can take it. It's a very short window so it's not going to be extremely common and if you do it correctly, it's going to minimize your risk of getting a name taken. Now there's a couple ways to do it but it seems like the most common one is you get your seller or your buyer on instant messenger or skype you get the entire thing set up so that you both just need to click accept at the exact same time and it should be transferred over no problem unless someone has some insane luck and manages to snipe at the exact moment what you don't want to do is leave that name available for 10 20 minutes an hour or just waiting for the other guy to take it so next up i want to talk a little bit about uh, people who flip uh, osrs names so there's a lot of pros and cons to flipping something like this well, to start off, some of the pros are that the margins can be extremely high. The value of all the names is kind of subjective to each person. So you could buy it off someone who has, has no meaning to and sell it to someone else. So say you buy, just a good example is somebody's actual name. So say you buy the name Randy from somebody and uh, you sell it to someone whose name is actually Randy. You could probably buy it for a couple hundred mil and sell it for twice that if the person finds that name valuable to themselves. Another big pro is that the names don't inherently cost really anything. So if you get lucky and manage to get a name when it comes available, uh, you, your investment is pretty much zero. It doesn't cost money to get the name, just to transfer the name will cost a bond. So that is two very big pros, however there are a bunch of cons come with it. To start with, uh, the names can take a long time to sell. So while you can get good margins on them, you can be holding on to a name for years in some cases, I'm sure. There's not really an official way to sell the names in-game, so that means turning to a third-party marketplace in which it can take a long time to sell items on. If anyone remembers Zybez and you compare that to how quick it is to use the Grand Exchange, you'll see the difference in time it takes when you have to go to a third party to sell something. Another con, as we mentioned earlier, is it's possible to get your name sniped, which is a pretty high risk of losing something that has so much value. If you bought that name originally for 100 mil and you're going to sell it for 200 mil, however somebody totally just snipes it and you lose it, that's 200 mil you just lost out on. Another con is that every transaction is going to require bonds, so that's going to be kind of a percent of every flip that is lost. So if you have a cheaper name from like 30 to 50 mil, a good portion of that will just go to the price of a bond. The price of bonds being like 4 to 5 mil nowadays and each party needs one. So that's why it's not really worth flipping any names that are uh, worth less than like 20 mil because at that point nearly half of the cost of the name change will just go towards buying the bonds. Alright guys, so now that we've gone over most of the important information, uh, the last question left is do you think that there are any rare names out there that are not yet taken? And probably, but very, 
little. It's going to be nearly impossible for someone to get an actual rare name on their own with not a batch of names getting released or just getting extremely lucky. I'm certain all of the one and two character names are already taken up. Probably all the three character names too, but not necessarily there are more options all right for that. guys that is about it i hope you enjoyed the video i really do enjoy having to look at some of these uh, underground communities or sub communities and i don't know if you guys have any suggestions for a future video on something like this but if you do i appreciate it if you left a comment down below anyway guys thanks for watching and i will see you next time